Hi everyone, I'm really excited making this video and for the fact that I've been paid my first $100 B on YouTube, I'm not standing. My journey on YouTube has been amazing and it can never be amazing without my viewers watching my content all over the world. And I'm saying thank you so much for believing in me, for watching my content, so for subscribing, for liking my video. Notwithstanding, my first video is being posted on September 22, 2020. This is my first video and I'll be showing you the general preview of my channel and sometimes like monetization and this yellow sign means that my this video is actually limited so ads are not really running on this video though I can request review for them to take a manual look on this video but since the video is not actually getting any view so it's of no use so something about YouTube is that your video has to be rewatched all the time so you have to be getting views on your videos so if you don't get views you cannot actually get paid so most of my videos have been monetized so the middle of this green sign means that i'm actually getting paid on this video as long as people watch this video so looking at it the views in 28 days is 349 views uh, my estimated revenue is 0.77 cent so my watch time hour is 6.6 .6. so Notwithstanding, for you to actually get monetized on YouTube, you have to have 4,000 watch hour and 1,000 subscribers. So let me just move on. I'll be explaining that in full details. Though I uploaded a video about how to change your YouTube thumbnails with your phone, and I have about 1.1k views. Though this video does not have any any money because I wasn't monetized around that time. And since people have already made series of videos concerning this. So maybe that's why. But notwithstanding, something about thumbnails is that the meaning of thumbnails is that the picture that is actually on your front page that people actually see. So something about that is that before you can actually upload a thumbnails on your YouTube channel, so you have to do like a manual verification of your phone number. So they are actually going to send code to you for you to verify your phone number. Moving on, you can also create playlist on your YouTube channel. So I'm actually going to show you what I mean by playlist. You must have been seeing it on different channels, but you might not even know that it is a playlist. So I'm actually going to show you using my channel as a case study. So when I talk about playlist, this is what I mean by playlist. Definitely you can create thumbnails with your Android phone, but I will not be explaining that. I just want to move quickly to monetization. And I've explained the fact that your video has to be getting views so that you'll be getting paid so if your channel is no more getting views so you can not actually get paid though so, and even if you earn a lot of views and your videos are not monetized so it's just wasting of time like this video now i had maybe 44,000 views on this video but unfortunately this video is not is not monetized and as you can see my estimated revenue is 0.01 so i'm just earning from premium so i'm not ads are not running on this video so if ads are not running on your video, you cannot actually get paid. So particularly, this video was taken down by YouTube because they accused me of not following community guidelines. So there's copyright guidelines, maybe when you directly copy somebody else's content and there's community guidelines, maybe the way you present your video or maybe you show some, uh, some information that you ought not to show or maybe you show somebody else's information. So, you have to blow those information so to avoid community guidelines strike so you to check all these things and most of all these things can actually affect your channel because you can actually get a strike because you did not follow the community uh, guidelines strike or copyright strike so all those things are really important so as a content creator or you want to start youtube so you have to read all those things to avoid your channel being terminated Another important aspect is your YouTube community tab. So YouTube community tab will be activated once you hit 1000 subscribers. So you can actually chat with maybe your community, that is your subscribers. You can ask them that maybe um, which video do you want me to post or you can post your, uh, your picture or you can post um, anything. So I'll actually be showing you on my video what it means by community tab. Using my channel as a case study, let me click on my community. 
so this is what they mean by community tab though so i posted last on my community tab three months ago and this is what i've actually posted so far so good so you can actually post videos picture short videos pictures and you can post something like this like good day i want to share you trick on how to get watch hour fast so you can people can actually react based on what you post or maybe you are celebrating your birthday and stuff like that so that's what actually means by community tab i've mentioned something like copyright strike definitely my channel have also received copyright strike because i posted somebody else's video that time i don't know that my channel used to receive copyright strike so the person submitted an appeal so um, I, I received a, a strike for the first time so i just have to message the person and the person actually removed the strike so and it's actually i the person asked me to take the video down and i took it down and the strike was removed but you just have to be careful because it's not everybody that can actually remove the the strike from your channel and your channel must not receive copyright strike three times unless the channel will be terminated so this is the video that i made when i applied for monetization on youtube so new application process and that is when i hit uh, 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hour though i've been mentioning watch hour but what did i mean by watch hour so this is how your channel dashboard will look like maybe immediately you gain 1000 subscribers or more than 1000 and 4000 watch hour so it will actually show you a green button and for those of us that we do not understand what 4000 watch hour it means that your video must have been watched 240,000 minutes on youtube before you can actually get monetized moreover the next video i posted is how to speed up your channel review for monetization process of course YouTube is going to review your channel and they have to check your channel whether it's suitable for running ads so you have to review your channel so for you to actually speed it up so there are some things that you have to do because there are a lot of channel that they actually getting monetized every day so for your channel not to be pending because some people have to wait for like three months like four months before they, their channel will actually be approved but my channel was approved in 10 hours so this is what i actually did then after that i was able to monetize my videos on youtube so once you check this video you can actually see how i got my videos monetized on uh, youtube of course i wasn't getting paid even when i monetized my video because i haven't completed some processing and i'm going to tell you everything about the processing I like um, I have to submit uh, I have to verify my identity that is I have to submit maybe something that shows my name my ID card or my international passport or my driver's license so I have to submit that before to verify my Google Adsense account and the reason why I posted how to delete or disable your Google Adsense account was that I had issue with my first Google Adsense account so I have to delete it, then link it up with another Google Ad Adsense account. So in case you have problem with your Google Adsense account, you can watch this video and it's actually going to take you through. So the next video I posted was how to verify your identity verification on Adsense in three minutes. So what I actually did, once you watch this video, you can actually verify your Google Adsense account so fast. So the reason why I post how to verify AdSense account without a PIN in 2020 manual verification was that I was waiting for my PIN after I got my Google AdSense account verified. I was waiting for my PIN and it's actually taking time. I don't know whether it's because of my address or maybe because exactly um, even after getting monetized, people have to keep watching your video. So after that, I posted um video about how to get your google adsense verification pin faster as in what i actually did and i actually got my especially in the interior post office so how i did my how i went to the post office i wrote my number down so everything is actually in this video in case you did not receive your pin through your post office you just have to keep requesting for your google adsense pin and after request for it for like three or four times you'll be able to do manual verification so this video will actually take you through everything you actually need 
when you want to apply for manual verification because you must have earned ten dollars before your pin will be posted into the address that you actually put for your google adsense so i can actually say i was monetized five months ago because it's until when you actually put your pin that new ads will be running on your channel and the video that you've made so far on your youtube channel will also be making money for you because once the um, the video is actually monetized successfully you can actually get paid so i was monetized five months ago though i'm not, I'm not actually getting much view after that because i haven't been having time to actually post video so i can tell you that it's until when you are able to put your pin or you're able to do manual verification the new ads will be running on your channel and then you will actually be getting paid and because ads are actually running on your channel and notwithstanding there's another process i did there's another video i, I recorded recently about um how to submit your tax info so something about youtube is that you have to submit your tax info so if you don't submit your tax information you cannot actually get paid because the money on your google adsense will actually be loading but they will not release payments until you fill your tax info and there's what you call hundred dollar threshold so if you watch this video is actually going to show you that and notwithstanding after adding your tax info you will also be asked to add your payment information so you have to go to the bank open a domiciliary account because you will actually be receiving your payment with dollar so you have to open a domiciliary account and the payment threshold is actually hundred dollar so basically all my video is about tutorial google adsense and stuff like that so this video this video will actually take you through on my experience so far on youtube and how you can actually do your own channel so that the mistake i made you won't be able to make it and it will actually speed up your monetization processes on youtube so this is when i received the payment from google so this is the payment i received on 24 june 2022 and notwithstanding i currently have 2.4 thousand subscribers and does it mean that they are my subscribers they are my payments no it depends on my views so depending on the views i'm actually getting so my subscriber does not affect my payment so what, what, as long as I have 1,000 subscribers, I'll be getting paid at, because I'm monetized already. So my subscribers just deal with uh, how YouTube popular, uh, publicize my video, which is really amazing because the more subscribers I get, the more views, the more rich my video will get. So anyway, thank you so much. And if you have any question that you want me to answer, you can chat me on my youtube channel or you can message me on facebook so i really appreciate your support and if you have not subscribed on my youtube channel you can please subscribe comment and like my videos so see you in the next one peace out Bye.